In probability theory and statistics, variance measures how far a set of numbers is spread out. A variance of zero indicates that all the values are identical. Variance is always non-negative. A small variance indicates that the data points tend to be very close to the mean and hence to each other, while a high variance indicates that the data points are very spread out around the mean and from each other. An equivalent measure is the square root of the variance, called the standard deviation. The standard deviation has the same dimension as the data, and hence is comparable to deviations from the mean. There are two distinct concepts that are both called variance. One variance is a characteristic of a set of observations. The other is part of a theoretical probability distribution and is defined by an equation. When variance is calculated from observations, those observations are typically measured from a real-world system. If all possible observations of the system are present, then the calculated variance is called the population variance. Normally, however, only a subset is available, and the variance calculated from this is called the sample variance. The variance calculated from a sample is considered an estimate of the full population variance. There are multiple ways to calculate an estimate of the population variance, as discussed in the section below. The two kinds of variance are closely related. To see how, consider that a theoretical probability distribution can be used as a generator of hypothetical observations. If an infinite number of observations are generated using a distribution, then the sample variance calculated from that infinite set will match the value calculated using the distribution's equation for variance. The variance is one of several descriptors of a probability distribution. In particular, the variance is one of the moments of a distribution. In that context, it forms part of a systematic approach to distinguishing between probability distributions. While other such approaches have been developed, those based on moments are advantageous in terms of mathematical and computational simplicity. Calculating the variance of a fixed set of numbers. Suppose a population of numbers consists of 3, 4, 7, and 10. The arithmetic mean of these numbers, often informally called the average, is divided by 4 equals 6. The variance of these four numbers is the average square deviation from this average. These deviations are equals minus 3, equals minus 2, equals 1, and equals 4. Thus the variance of the four numbers is definition. The variance of a set of observed values that is represented by random variable x is its second central moment. The expected value of the square deviation from the mean mu equals e x. This definition encompasses random variables that are generated by processes that are discrete, continuous, neither, or mixed. The variance can also be thought of as the covariance of a random variable with itself. The variance is also equivalent to the second cumulant of a probability distribution that generates x. The variance is typically designated as VAR, or simply sigma 2. The expression for the variance can be expanded. A mnemonic for the above expression is mean of square minus square of mean. On computational floating point arithmetic, this equation should not be used, because it suffers from catastrophic cancellation if the two components of the equation are similar in magnitude. There exist numerically stable alternatives. Continuous random variable If the random variable x represents samples generated by a continuous distribution with probability density function f, then the population variance is given by where is the expected value, and where the integrals are definite integrals taken for x ranging over the range of x. If a continuous distribution does not have an expected value, as is the case for the Cauchy distribution, it does not have a variance either. Many other distributions for which the expected value does exist also do not have a finite variance because the integral in the variance definition diverges. An example is a Pareto distribution whose index k satisfies 1 less than k2. Discrete random variable If the generator of random variable x is discrete with probability mass function x1 p1, xn pn, 
then or equivalently where is the expected value, i.e., the variance of a set of n equally likely values can be written as where is the expected value, i.e., the variance of a set of n equally likely values can be equivalently expressed without directly referring to the mean in terms of squared deviations of all points from each other. Examples Normal distribution The normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma is a continuous distribution whose probability density function is given by where mu is the mean, and the variance sigma squared is given as the role of the normal distribution in the central limit theorem is in part responsible for the prevalence of the variance in probability and statistics. Exponential distribution The exponential distribution with parameter lambda is a continuous distribution whose support is the semi-infinite interval, zero, infinity. Its probability density function is given by, and it has expected value mu equals lambda minus 1. The variance is equal to, so for an exponentially distributed random variable sigma 2 equals mu 2. Poisson distribution The Poisson distribution with parameter lambda is a discrete distribution for k equals 0, 1, 2. Its probability mass function is given by, and it has expected value mu equals lambda. The variance is equal to, so for a Poisson distributed random variable sigma 2 equals mu. Binomial distribution The binomial distribution with parameters n and p is a discrete distribution for k equals 0, 1, 2. Its probability mass function is given by, and it has expected value mu equals np. The variance is equal to, coin toss the binomial distribution with describes the probability of getting heads in tosses. Thus the expected value of the number of heads is, and the variance is. Fair die A six-sided fair die can be modeled with a discrete random variable with outcomes 1 through 6, each with equal probability. The expected value is 6 equals 3.5. Therefore, the variance can be computed to be the general formula for the variance of the outcome x of a die of n sides is properties. Basic properties variance is non-negative because the squares are positive or zero. The variance of a constant random variable is zero, and if the variance of a variable in a data set is zero, then all the entries have the same value. Variance is invariant with respect to changes in a location parameter. That is, if a constant is added to all values of the variable, the variance is unchanged. If all values are scaled by a constant, the variance is scaled by the square of that constant. The variance of a sum of two random variables is given by, where cov is the covariance. In general we have for the sum of random variables. These results lead to the variance of a linear combination as, if the random variables are such that they are said to be uncorrelated, it follows immediately from the expression given earlier that if the random variables are uncorrelated, then the variance of their sum is equal to the sum of their variances, or expressed symbolically. Since independent random variables are always uncorrelated, the equation above holds in particular when the random variables are independent. Thus independence is sufficient but not necessary for the variance of the sum to equal the sum of the variances. Sum of uncorrelated variables One reason for the use of the variance in preference to other measures of dispersion is that the variance of the sum of uncorrelated random variables is the sum of their variances. This statement is called the BNMA formula and was discovered in 1853. It is often made with the stronger condition that the variables are independent, but being uncorrelated suffices. So if all the variables have the same variance sigma 2, then, since division by n is a linear transformation, this formula immediately implies that the variance of the mean is that is, the variance of the mean decreases when n increases. This formula for the variance of the mean is used in the definition of the standard error of the sample mean, which is used in the central limit theorem. Product of independent variables If two variables x and y are independent, the variance of their product is given by, alternatively, using the basic properties of expectation. 
product of correlated variables in general. If two variables are correlated, the variance of their product is given by sum of correlated variables in general. If the variables are correlated, then the variance of the sum is the sum of their covariances equals VAR. Here COV is the covariance, which is zero for independent random variables. The formula states that the variance of a sum is equal to the sum of all elements in the covariance matrix of the components. This formula is used in the theory of Cronbach's alpha in classical test theory. So if the variables have equal variance sigma 2 and the average correlation of distinct variables is rho, then the variance of their mean is this implies that the variance of the mean increases with the average of the correlations. In other words, additional correlated observations are not as effective as additional independent observations at reducing the uncertainty of the mean. Moreover, if the variables have unit variance, for example if they are standardized, then this simplifies to this formula as used in the Spearman Brown prediction formula of classical test theory. This converges to rho if n goes to infinity, provided that the average correlation remains constant or converges to. So for the variance of the mean of standardized variables with equal correlations or converging average correlation we have therefore, the variance of the mean of a large number of standardized variables is approximately equal to their average correlation. This makes clear that the sample mean of correlated variables does not generally converge to the population mean, even though the law of large numbers states that the sample mean will converge for independent variables. Weighted sum of variables the scaling property in the BNMA formula, along with the property of the covariance COV equals ABCOV jointly imply that this implies that in a weighted sum of variables, the variable with the largest weight will have a disproportionately large weight in the variance of the total. For example, if x and y are uncorrelated and the weight of x is 2 times the weight of y, then the weight of the variance of x will be 4 times the weight of the variance of y. The expression above can be extended to a weighted sum of multiple variables. Decomposition The general formula for variance decomposition or the law of total variances. If and are two random variables, and the variance of exists, then where is the conditional expectation of given, and is the conditional variance of given. Score is the sum of the predicted score and the error score, where the latter two are uncorrelated. Similar decompositions are possible for the sum of square deviations. Formulae for the variance A formula are often used for deriving the variance of a theoretical distribution is as follows. This will be useful when it is possible to derive formulae for the expected value and for the expected value of the square. This formula is also sometimes used in connection with the sample variance. While useful for hand calculations, it is not advised for computer calculations as it suffers from catastrophic cancellation if the two components of the equation are similar in magnitude and floating point arithmetic is used. This is discussed in the article Algorithms for Calculating Variance. Calculation from the CDF The population variance for a non-negative random variable can be expressed in terms of the cumulative distribution function. F using this expression can be used to calculate the variance in situations where the CDF, but not the density, can be conveniently expressed. Characteristic property The second moment of a random variable attains the minimum value when taken around the first moment of the random variable, i.e., conversely, if a continuous function satisfies for all random variables x, then it is necessarily of the form, where a greater than zero. This also holds in the multidimensional case. Matrix notation for the variance of a linear combination define as a column vector of random variables, and as a column vector of scalars. 
therefore, is a linear combination of these random variables, where denotes the transpose of, also let be the covariance matrix if, the variance of is then given by, units of measurement unlike expected absolute deviation. The variance of a variable has units that are the square of the units of the variable itself. For example, a variable measured in meters will have a variance measured in square meters. For this reason, describing data sets via their standard deviation or root mean square deviation is often preferred over using the variance. In the DICE example the standard deviation is square root 2.91.7, slightly larger than the expected absolute deviation of 1.5. The standard deviation and the expected absolute deviation can both be used as an indicator of the spread of a distribution. The standard deviation is more amenable to algebraic manipulation than the expected absolute deviation, and together with variance and its generalization covariance, is used frequently in theoretical statistics. However the expected absolute deviation tends to be more robust as it is less sensitive to outliers, arising from measurement anomalies or an unduly heavy tail distribution, approximating the variance of a function. The delta method uses second-order Taylor expansions to approximate the variance of a function of one or more random variables. See Taylor expansions for the moments of functions of random variables. For example, the approximate variance of a function of one variable is given by provided that f is twice differentiable and that the mean and variance of x are finite.